Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. This is a junk journal with me episode working in my yearly journal from last year. So I'm just going back and filling in some pages and memories that I have missed. When I was in Melbourne, I didn't take this journal with me. So I did gather a whole bunch of um, ephemera from my time down there that I brought back with me so that I could do these pages. I also took a few photos and printed them out and for this particular page spread I think I do a couple of page spreads. Um, I'm focusing on a holiday within a holiday so while I was in Melbourne I went on a an extra little holiday to Bendigo for four days with some of my family and yeah, it was really lovely. I've only, I think I've only been to Bendigo once and it was just for a day trip with some friends. And that was a long time ago. So I was pretty excited to go somewhere new. And yeah, we stayed in this lovely little cottage house. It was one of those really old houses, um, so cute. And I love how right away on the first night, wait, on the first day when we arrived, we settled in and made ourselves at home in the lounge room and you know how when you just go into a house or a home even though it's a strange house you can quite quickly uh, settle yourself in and have it all set up and you know you put out all your things <laughs> and it's amazing how quick a place can just feel comfortable and uh, yeah, you you just sort of just take over the house and yeah, it's a bit bizarre actually the concept, but yeah, it just felt like um, yeah, we were just super comfortable there and um, yeah, set up our little spaces in the lounge room and we put the cricket on and uh, we brought a lot of books, a lot of books. So that's one thing I love. <laughs> um, my family on this particular side anyway loves reading books so we both both all three of us bought brought huge stacks of books I, I think I brought four or five with me and I kind of felt a bit silly but then I saw their stacks of books and they brought more than me and I was like oh it's all good <laughs> we're all good because there's no way we, in four days we were going to read all of those books I didn't even finish one I was hoping I would um but I ended up, while I was there, reading two books, like alternating between the two, and I got halfway through both of them. And, yeah, it was really fun reading both of those. And, yeah, we watched the cricket in the background. There was a, a test match, and Australia won that against South Africa. And then at night, the following days after that finished, we would watch the Big Bash um, 2020 cricket and for anyone who is into cricket or Big Bash, um, my team that I go for is the Melbourne Renegades. <laughs> I also, my second favourite team is the Hurricanes. Um, and then my third favourite would probably be the Stars, Melbourne Stars. Then maybe the Strikers. Um, my least favourite team is probably the Sixers, then the Thunder. And then, I don't know, I kind of like Scorches and Heat um, as well. Sorry about that. I just had to stop while the dog was barking. Uh, but yeah, this is a picture of some Lego that I got my nephew for Christmas. And so he brought that along and we made that Together I chose the pieces, as in I, I found the pieces while he um, puts them together. Sometimes I had trouble finding the pieces though and I needed his help. And he made a red panda and then he had fun making his own red panda with the leftover pieces. And I made some scenery, <laughs> some trees and flowers with the leftover pieces as well. And he um, helped me do some of the scenery. So we took a photo of the two red pandas and the scenery, which was quite cute. Um, I took a photo of the door because it was just beautiful with the stained glass. I've always loved stained glass and the beautiful colors and the light shining through colored glass so 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 pretty so i took a photo of the door from the inside and the door from the outside had this really lovely um 
like rainbow pearlescent shimmer in some of the panels so beautiful and I took a photo of the books our stacks of books that we took on the trip and then one of my favorite photos I put that on my bookstagram account love it um, and then over here and this is oh so I kept a lot of pamphlets from the different places we visited just to remind me of where we went and I'm just reading through this refreshing my memory of the exhibitions that we saw at the Bendigo Art Gallery and I'm just going to cut out the pieces that will help me remember what we saw there and what my favorite parts of the trip were there or the visit there was um so I just cut out the map because that will remind me um, of each exhibition it has a little key that tells you what was in each room and I think my favorite exhibition was the portraits one and it, it looked at different portraits through time and yeah quite enjoyed that um, I haven't been in an art gallery for a very long time I used to go when I was a kid my mum would take me to Melbourne Art Gallery and yeah I remember when I did art therapy for three weeks last year um, we looked a lot at art and the purpose of art the meaning of art how art speaks and communicates and how it's therapeutic and I kind of went into this art gallery with those eyes and just seeing like the great depth behind art and how I was really interested in reading the stories behind them like when I was a kid I was like oh boring <laughs> skip all this stuff um, but this time I was trying to read as many of those little plaque thingies as possible with the information because you can look at a picture and then you can read what what the why it was made the reason for it what it's trying to convey and it can change how you see it and your interpretation of it and I don't know it's it's interesting I've always been fascinated with you know storytelling and how we can tell stories through books and movies drama dance I love film analysis I love reading books um, but art is its own form of storytelling as well and really interesting though because you know it's not it's it's static and you can wonder like how is there a story told in this art compared to like a whole book of pages and pages of words or a whole movie of frames and scenes and dialogue you've just got this one still image and it's like okay I might not in the past have understood that it tells its own story but it does that <laughs> anyway so I don't know I was kind of getting a bit deep about it and a lot of the art here I was like I'm not into this and even when I read it uh, I don't know just looking at it aesthetically it didn't do anything for me um, but when I read the stories behind them it made them interesting if not pleasing to my eye <laughs> and that has that's worth something too um, anyway I was so fascinated I could go down a whole rabbit hole with art and I could see myself studying it one time one day if I had infinite days in my life <laughs> I would love to study psychology I would love to study film I'd love to study um, all these different things I'm interested in philosophy uh, theology um, you know history archaeology anthropology whatever um, and definitely art I think could be something on that list I'd like to learn about but anyway uh, other places that we went to that I had pamphlets for, for um, I think it was just the Bendigo, yeah, Bendigo Pottery and at Bendigo Pottery there was an antique shop which was so cool so I just put those pamphlets in there as well and you saw me put in a Winnie the Pooh card and I just used that as a pocket because I like the little frame as well and I got that at an op shop while we were in Bendigo and I got it because it reminded me of the people I went on holiday with and it says the card says something like doing nothing with each other is just really beautiful and that's what the whole holiday was about it was about us doing nothing together and enjoying our time doing nothing together 
Of course, we weren't doing nothing together, literally, but you get the sentiment that there was nothing we needed to do. We didn't have to be anywhere at a certain time. And we were just having, you know, that relaxing holiday where we could do nothing together if we wanted to do absolutely nothing. That would be totally fine. That's what holidays are for. <laughs> um, one night we got fish and chips and we ate it by a lake. We ate fun holiday food, which for me was things like raisin toast, which I had for breakfast, and chocolates in the fridge, like special fancy holiday chocolates. Golden Gay Times for dessert one night, which is my favorite ice cream on a stick. And yeah, it was just a really lovely holiday. The town was lovely, the house was lovely, and yeah, really, really fun time to spend with family. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.